Yo, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Dina Hype coming back to you guys with a brand new video and hope you guys are having a great day so far. In today's video, what you guys are going to be seeing is we're going to be jumping back into Man of Madon. We are now in part 6. I'm not really sure when it's going to be ending, but we're going to kind of just keep on playing through. If you guys have not seen the previous episodes, links are all down in the description. This game is a little bit scary in a way, so hopefully you guys are not afraid of like jump scares and everything. If you are, we're getting a lot into that and the Previous episodes have just been really crazy. In episode 5, we were actually in a way of kind of reuni reuniting everybody. We kind of had Brad, Fliss, Julia, Alex, and Conrad all kind of reuniting. Everybody found each other. We're, the, the ghosts are kind of like using each other or using all the main characters and making them look like ghosts. So like we're running away from each other and there's like a lot of different ways that I could have died or I ended up killing someone. But luckily, I am making the right decisions. You by using the pictures that they give us throughout the game and helping me kind of like know okay don't do this do this it'll keep you all alive so we're gonna go ahead and jump straight back on into this if you guys are enjoying as always drop a like if you guys are brand new around here make sure you guys do hit that big red subscribe button and do not forget to hit that little notification bell but without further ado as always i do not talk whenever there is like a dial dialogue 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 going on and I'll kind of keep up with a commentary just to kind of keep you guys entertained as we go on. But without further ado, let's jump into this. Alright, okay, now we're back on the weather deck. So this is where we left off last time. I believe we were trying to actually... We're trying Damn to find shit. the radios, I think. I think we're uh, speaking clinically. Totally oh, I see bad. something over here. Alright, what is this? Is this going to be like a letter? Is that a bullet? That's a bullet. I think it's a bullet. Let's see what we got. Crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane. Shell casing. Anti-aircraft shell casing. Uh, shell casing found near a gun on the ship. The gun has been fired. Update. The gunners on the ship attacked the sea air rescue plane. Okay. So this plane was attacked. And they probably used the guns to try to kill all the ghosts, maybe. So I'm guessing Brad isn't coming. Just Fliss, Julia, and um, Conrad, maybe? I guess we're all just going to go. And Brad's just going to wait behind. Oh, wait, no. She's behind me, yeah. She's back there. By the way, you guys probably won't be able to... You guys won't be able to notice. But I actually switched out my monitor, so now my quality is a lot better. I used to use an old monitor. And now I switched over to one of my better ones. So, crisp quality now. Okay, so what exactly, find a way up to the tower, so I gotta get up there, basically. Um, find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. I was just about to say that, like, you guys find a way up? Alright, is there anything, oh, there's something over here. Oh, is this power? Please no dead body. Oh, damn. Why did I have to open my mouth? Okay, gas mask. Oh, instructions. Uh, always ensure your mask is fitted before assisting anyone else with theirs. If you detect gas or hear gas alarms, uh, number one, do not panic. Remain calm and clearly shout "gas, gas, gas" to warn anyone in the vicinity. Hold your breath. Attach the gas mask carrier by placing the bag under your left arm. Pull the shoulder string or sling over your right shoulder, and hook it onto the bag. Hook the belt around your waist. Uh, that's number two. Number three. Remove your helmet, pull the mask up to your face with both hands, put your chin inside the mask first, then pull the mask over your face and the harness is strapped over your head. Number four, remove any potential or potentially trapped gas, close, out, close the outlet valve and breathe out sharply, then push any remaining air out of the mask with your hands. Number five, check for leaks by tightly squeezing the flexible corrugated hose with your hand by inhaling and the mask should crumble around your face. And number six, if the mask does not crumble, there are, may be a leak. Readjust the mask to ensure it does, it is snug. And then repeat the process above until the mask crumbles to ensure there's no leaks. Okay. I'm guessing I'm not going to have to remember any of that. But I just read it just in case. I mean, you never know. I might need to know it. I might not need to know it. Never know. Alright, let's see where we got to go. Is there a way over here? Alright. Brad's waiting. Oh, Brad, what are you doing over here? Were you following us? 
Okay, I gotta go up here. Hey, Brad, give me a boost. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. Okay, I guess Fliss is gonna do it because Brad can't has no he has no strength. I'll pull you up. All right, come on, everybody, let's go up top. Whatever happened to the fishermen? There was some fishermen running around, and we shut them the door on them earlier. So I guess they're like locked within the boat, I think. All right, I guess we just go up. All right, I just wanted to kind of see if there's anything over here in these corners. Uh, there's nothing. This is, this is where I chased Conrad before. I thought it looked familiar. Wait, what? I you chased him earlier? Here? I don't remember that. Alright, there's a door there. I almost wanna like just check it. Just see. Okay, I can't go in. Good. Over here. Oh wait, no, I can go in. Got a way through here. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Wait, but what was down at the end? I guess I'll never find out. Oh, hello, sir. Um... I guess I'm going to walk around the room just a little bit. Okay, locate the ship's radio. See, like, I don't know what doors I want to go into. Because I don't want to make the wrong decisions. Alright, I can't go out. Was there anything I can press over here? Okay, no, I can't really control the ship. Uh oh, another one of these. What is it? Okay, so one of the fishermen's gonna kill himself. Because the Chinese one already did kill himself. Find the radio yet? Or the Chinese looking one. What's this? Are these like coordinates? Wrong here. So where are we? We're, we're like San Francisco. You'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. We're like out here in the Pacific. Like hide and seek out in the ocean. So like, is that us? Like down here in the bottom, like that last red one over here. All right, secret found. A map showing the origin of the destination of the ship. It was sailing from Republic to China to San Francisco. Okay. So that was where they were supposed to be heading. Uh, another letter. I was like, can I read it? Oh, just some notes. Very short list. Uh, oh, ship okay. Was blown off course. Cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. You know what? I'm gonna read it, bud. So you better pipe it. Uh, first thing up, notes. United States Department of the Navy, June 22nd, uh, heavy storm blown off course. Uh, they were report off of hold, too flooded, excessive lightning strikes, adrift in shallow waters, location unknown, uh, seabed deaf, believed uncharted, unable to establish deaf, search for crew member overboard, con commenced, search called off, heavy cloud cover as yet unable to establish c location. Okay. So more creepy stuff. 
All right, let's go to this door. <gasps> I found the radio. Take a look. Radio. No freaking way. Roger, Roger. Is this actually still works? Can we get out of here? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Oh god. It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's have some for help. Hey! Hey! Is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Bearing up to the group discovered a radio and made contact with the military's situation. What was the other one? Fliss found a captain's hat with the name ending in G in the Ma then Madonna after. Oh, they're gonna be asking for the captain. Holy shit! We got him! Uh I'll say just tell him the coordinates. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. It's dying. We're on a freighter, abandoned, huge and old. Hello. No oh, shit. What was that? I saw something. They gave their coordinates. Hello. Is anyone out there? Please come in. I swear to God, I thought I saw a body. Oh, the whole ship died. All right, him and Julia just went up the whole way. Yo, guys, check it out. Why can't we just go back to our boat? I mean, it's not like they left. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna make it down there in my shape. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the picture's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So what do you think? I'll say if you're up for it. Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case quote. Oh, she's gonna get herself killed. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. Uh, Brad and Julia went down the hole in the radio room. Sh I should have let Alex go down. That's not good. I probably just killed them both. Four or five AM. Any broken bones? Everything still work? Everyone okay? We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay. We'll wait here by the radio. Alright, who, who, I know nobody went up. Okay, so now we just gotta find the generator. So we got a flashlight and a lighter. Hey. Is, that a, is that a lantern? Light it. After you. Oh, thanks. I'm honored.
Ah, I don't like the way it's doing that. Wait, I've already read these, didn't I? No, I haven't. Um, Brig, week 27, Monday. Arthur Miller, private petty off or petty theft, one day. Brig, small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker. Items recovered and returned to owner. Wednesday, David Davis, or wait, what? David Davis, private trespass, two days. Brig, found off limits in cargo hold 3A and with no reason to be there. Uh, flagrant disregard for orders. Friday, PFC, Lewis Brand. Uh, public intoxication one day brick found drunk and acting inappropriately for u.s army personnel while on shore leave robert reed public intoxication one day brick found drunk and acting inappropriately for u.s army personnel while on short leave this is the guys that were i was controlling in the beginning they got drunk they got put in their hold or in the rooms i guess and uh they kind of just got stuck there this was the cell they were in weren't they I was going to say, honey, can I come out? Thank you. What's this? Um, of altercation. And that Private Charles Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in a manner of not becoming a member of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in drunken argument. Uh, it is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to the ship. Okay. All right, I saw something else. What's this? Oh, another letter. Uh, medical officers report minutes of meeting between Scientist X, CWO Walter Bishop, and CWO Tom Palmer with Sergeant Peter Wood observing an N X for meeting with our team and says we can actually learn. For the same thing, the Western word must be protected from. Uh, the United States has been aware of the certain... Agencies investigating the chemical and biological agents in warfare, our act in, or limited by the Geneva Protocol, have experiments we are unable to. Hmm. So it's like they were just like chopping everything out. And I'm not really sure what they were saying in between there. I'll say let's just put the letter back, leave it where it is. I almost feel like we should have been keeping all these letters, like as we get them, you know. Oh god. Be the coolest place to explore, like, like ever. I'm gonna say no, not at all. Says the girl who couldn't wait to. Oh god, who's the boy? Hmm. Two pops, come back soon. More dead bodies. More letters. Oh, God. Okay. Patient name. John Patterson. Rank. Private. Born. Raul. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, history of case. Diagnosis. Mild. Nervous. Disability is not the result of his own misconduct and was incurred in the line of duty. Uh, existed prior to eliminus. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So, basically, he just had, like, a whole bunch of problems. He got stuck in here. And they probably thought he was going crazy, but it was just the demons killing him. Okay. What's in here? Jesus. We got the dead guy. He don't look too pretty. I'll say, I'm going to just walk away. Because I don't feel like going anywhere near him. I got to go this way. She's waiting on me. What's here? Hold on. Okay, I can't go any further that way. Julia, come here. Here, come check this out. Down there. I'm guessing this is it's where the, the power. Good place to find the generator, right? Now let's not drop and kill ourselves. The ladder's broken off here. I think I can just wait. Ow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> all good. Just come down. Probably got like fucking splinter in your foot now. Probably broke your hand, broke your foot, something. 
That's why I like to wear socks and shoes anywhere. I'm not a fan of bare footing. Did you see it? Um, hello? Okay, okay. Um, okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Yeah, I think we're all going crazy. I think it might be from that fog. Why would the fog make us go crazy? That fog is fucking with our heads. Maybe that's what happened here in the first place. Why there's nobody left on the ship? This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. We know the plane was here, and that they shot at it. Could have been a result of the psychosis. Oh, God. All right, let's get going. Yep. Let's get this engine back on so we can go upstairs, call the radio, get some people out here, and let's go home. Oh, I can't push anything there. Bowie. You know what I miss right now? Food. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say food, but that works too. Alright, so far I can't press anything. Like, I'm, like, hugging the walls just to make sure. Can I press anything? Please. What's... This is like a dead end? Okay. Ooh. Look at this! The rebreather! The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. Ah, oh, god damn it. Nah, leave it. Because I feel like we're not gonna need it. Yeah. But now it's gonna come down to where if we actually needed it. Fuck it. Dead weight. Hold on. I wanna see the bearings. I wanna see how we've kind of like gone through them. Ships in the night. So how does this one kind of foreplay? Uh, they've escaped. Uh, files managed to open the door, causing the water to flood into the trap. Her uh, Fliss dropped down into the room below. Later, Fliss met up with Brad and went in search for the others. Brad found the spanner above the cargo hold. Brad found the gas mask, and then Fliss didn't find anything or of use in the cargo hold. And then right here, wait, where's the one? Oh, right here, Ben's. No, there was one of them. Oh, well. Let's just move on. Uh-oh, they're back. Is he going to kill him? Good thing I didn't take the rebreather, or that would have been loud. <gasps> the distributor cap. We can't, because he's going to see us and then he'll kill us. Smoke, the fog. Oh, God. Jesus Christ.
Can we barricade the door? All right, let's do this fast. I gotta read the letter. Hang on, guys. Uh, fuck it. I can't read it. It'll save. Sorry, my man. Nah, we gotta run. There's no need to inspect. Did you at least grab the cap? Oh no, he had it. There's no use hiding, you little fuss. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? You trying to cut me out of the deal? Oh boy. You can't have all the gold. And I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain. I am in control. And I am the one that says who goes and who stays. Ah. God damn. Oh yeah, totally. Can't risk moving yet. Just need to watch and wait for an opening. I got this. Americans have smashed their way into a foreign land and come up short. The generators are on. The gold is mine. Oh shit. I accidentally hit that button. Why did I do that? Julia, hurry. Let's shut the door. Lock it. Oh my god, lock it. Are we safe? Please tell me we're safe. Kind of. Yeah, totally. I mean, these doors were meant to withstand all sorts of stuff yeah <laughs> kind of all sorts of stuff all right so him and julia went up a little bit oh okay. god okay none of you move none of you go on changing on me now yeah but didn't he kill himself in the thing slow real slow oh. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said, not changing. Please. We've got no problem with you. We just want to get out of here. Please. I'm sorry, but if you're breathing, then you don't got much of a choice in the matter. You don't got to say. Ah! Not again! It's all gone changing on me! What? What's changing? What? Stay away! The smoke? Fog? Stay back from the mist! What? There's no mist, man! Oh, Don't he's back it. there again. Don't breathe the mist! Why can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's life. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. Oh. It's inside now. Inside with us now. Please just calm down. Stop. Stop. It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down now. Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathed in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Okay, all right, look, I, there was, you know, something back there, uh, maybe a mist or a fog, maybe? I knew it. I 
told you. Did you breathe it in? No, we no. didn't. Look, we held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? I, I would hope. We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. I mean, kind of. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? It's in me, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. On the inside. No, no. I, 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 I can't see it. You're all right, man. There's no mist. Stop. Oh, God. They convinced Junior that the mist must be inside himself. Yeah. You can all see it in me, can't you? You're all just lying. The mist is inside. Hey, man, come on. Just put the... Junior then shot himself. Okay, so that's two down. So he just got the one guy left. But we got a gun now. I was like, grab the gun, pull it away from him. Now we got the gun. Check see if it's got ammo. Why wouldn't you keep the gun? Or at least kick it away from him. Okay, so they're all worried. That's been about 20 minutes. Wait by the radio. Why? I'm gonna check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh. I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio. I'm gonna hang back here as well. Good call. Okay, yeah, the fisherman's right there, or the pirate, pirate boy. Oh God. I was like, not even moving my body. The only thing moving was my thumb. by the radio. Don't uh, run away. I wouldn't dream it. I saw the, the, the big guy. He had the distributor cap. He's gonna go after him. Dog, what are you doing back there? Get out of here. Dog, and then he just disappears right away on me. So what do we do if he comes running back down this hallway? Like, did we just run away like a bunch of chickens? I mean, it's like we need the cap from him. This must have been what we just heard. Oh no, what's that? Doesn't matter. We need that distributor cap. Here! He had to have come this way. Why are you guys talking so loud? Talk quieter. You're gonna get yourself shot. Holy crap. Look at that shit. He's like just destroying everything. Oh, hello. Oh, the mist is inside of him. Yeah, totally. 
Gotta press some buttons. Oh shit. Oh, okay, now what is it supposed to do? There's something here. Yeah. And it wants us dead. Oh, he's ran through the mist. Oh, he dropped a sledgehammer. Can he drop the distribute cap? Like, please? Or you just go back, because now we have the cap. It's like, look, the smoke is everywhere. It's like, Bran has the mask. We're breathing it all in. Okay, I can't go that way. I gotta go this way. You know, Brad, fuck you. I'm not a fan of you doing that. How you doing, sir? Uh, uh let's see. Of course, but they will restrict your moment around the plant so it may prove difficult for the look, Jones. Uh, your primary objective is clear, but your secondary objective when you reach your destination is to locate Jones and his men and get them back home. Uh, you must be vigilant and very concerned with your personnel safety at all times. Your country is behind you. General Henry L. Rasner from the U.S. Army. Okay, so he was a general. What was he doing in the kitchen, though, when he died? Was he the chef? Okay, so I can't go that way. So do I go this way? Ooh, there's a room right here. Okay, but like, then where did he go? Did I not take a turn? Like, was there a turn I missed? I mean, it's like he went down here. He probably went in here. Can't go that way. Can I go any further this way? Hold on, let me go back in here. Oh. Oh. Fuck. There's the cap, but we gotta get Look the rats that. off. Sometimes you just get lucky. I wouldn't do that. Shit. Shit. Would you get the fuck off of me? Um. Hold on, I gotta find out which one that one was. Okay, so he's dead. Very, very dead. Oh, uh, the rats are coming back. They're gonna come back for me.
shit. I'll say they were trying to make me kill myself. I play too many horror games. There, I might make some dumb mistakes every once in a while, but I don't make those kinds. Now, can I get the distributor cap and let's go upstairs and get the hell out of here? Wait. I should have done nothing there. I should have just let it happen. I am so sad. I was so close. I was literally right there. I think this is the end, honestly. I was right there. It was the end. All I had to do was just end it. Just like, just let her be. And I was good to go. I didn't even think she went around and she probably opened the door. <clears throat> and we went back to the boat. We're gonna get the piece back on. Pirates are all dead. Okay. Guess it's time to see if it's working. We're off the boat. I feel so bad. Like that just hurt. That fucker that took our boat. That there was gold. He wanted the gold. That's all this was about. Manchurian gold. Well, that turned out to be quite a bit different than we expected. You know, I just keep going over it and over it, and it doesn't make any sense. You know, it just. And I know what I saw. I just don't believe in. Whatever it was that I saw. I saw Alex. It wasn't Alex. It was... Someone else. But they looked just like Alex. And he was sneering at me. I'm like... <sighs> Fuck, man. I didn't want that to happen. No. Oh, please tell me she can come back to life. 
What if she like comes back to life and then it's like I'm sitting here and I can't get off the ship anymore? <laughs> no. Well. Oh, what do you got to say, man? Come on, talk your bullshit. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. Oh, fuck you. always try again. See if you can't do better next time around. Impressive. Almost everyone survived. Fuck you. Almost. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions mm -hmm. made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. Won't you spare me over till another year? Won't you spare me over? All right, well, now that that's done, and because of copyright music, I'm gonna go and just keep on talking, and hopefully, we can skip over this, please. Thank you. Um. I'm going to go ahead and give a round of applause for the game. That was a very good game. I loved the jump scares. I, it wasn't too much jump scares, and it kind of had like a fun little story. What the hell? Wait, did he never shoot himself? And he's still on the boat. Oh, we're not done. They're actually going to go to this boat and check it out. But doesn't this mean that everybody's just going to keep on dying every time they go on? Don't do it, guys. So out of nowhere, this thing just sent out an SOS. Guess we got a real-life ghost ship here. Right? Yep. Don't do it. Don't do it, guys. Whoa. What the hell is this? This is where you die. Be careful what you're doing. Because I know exactly where you're walking. I believe if you watched episode 3, you'll know where they're going. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Um. I just saw someone in the woods. Whoever it was, they're gone. Going to Okay, very good. What the hell is this? The dark pictures, the little hope. Mmm. I'll probably play that for you guys. When it comes out. Or if it's already out, I'll, I'll probably get onto that, but... Like I was saying, round of applause, great game, I loved it, it was, everything was there, jump scares, they had not too many, not too little, there was like those little like times where you just see a body just like creep up on you, it kind of scared you a little bit, but we are now done with it, I hope you guys did enjoy the series, as always you guys can go back and watch all the previous episodes, and watch even this episode later on in time, 
if you guys want to watch me play this game. I had a great time playing it. Still, hands down, my all-time favorite horror game, Resident Evil 7. I just love the way they made that game. There were just so many fun little puzzles and things you could do. This game was more of just kind of like, you were kind of like walking around. You were kind of finding a few things, and you were like reading all these letters. There was a whole bunch of different things you could kind of do. But it was mainly kind of like all you were doing was just kind of avoiding the pirates slash fishermen and just kind of walking around the ship. Eventually, you were kind of like figuring out there's a radio. You were trying to reunite with the rest of the crew. And it was kind of a lot of that. The crew kind of got split up a lot, and then they kind of rejoined, and then the guy found out about the radio. And then they were kind of seeing all these dead bodies, and eventually they started figuring out what was going on. Then the guy told them about the mist. It was just a bunch going on. But like I said, hopefully you guys did go on to enjoy. I have a new series coming out here very soon. I'm going to start, if you guys do not know, I do do the Mad or a Madden version of the Super Bowl going on currently. This year it is the 49ers and the Chiefs. I will get working on that. Hopefully you guys do stay tuned to see that. If you guys want to be notified the second I do start posting any future content, hit that big red subscribe button and hit the little notification bell. Drop a like if you guys did enjoy. If you guys want to rock the Hype Nation merch, link is down in the description. But without further ado, guys. Hopefully you guys did go on to enjoy, and hopefully you guys have a great day, and peace out.